this is DMG and in this video we're going to be talking about how to make some really disgusting corpse markers. Bring out your dead! Alrighty, corpse markers. Now, of course, you're going to kill a hell of a lot of stuff in your games, so you're going to need these things for just laying about afterwards. So you're going to grab some washers, as you've seen me use as bases for minis in Mini Magic, and you're going to apply just some cardstock or garbage cardboard onto those. And onto that, we're going to just drop raw red paint. So. Raw is not a classification or brand, it is just we haven't mixed it or anything, it just comes straight out of the tube and just blob it on there. We're going to grab a toothpick and the hot glue gun, and we're just going to blob a whole lot of hot glue on top of the red paint. And you'll see me continue to do that, and while it is still curing, while it's still hot, because there's a lot of hot glue, you mush it around, that's a proper term for this, a mush it around and uh, start to get wisps and things and paint all over your fingers and just you know get things stuck to things and make strands and push the strands down and essentially you're just creating a big old mess so uh, into that mess you're then going to add some uh, brown uh, ink or very heavily watered down brown paint and you're just going to fill in the dark and uh, recessed areas of those markers with that and then just apply a little bit more hot glue just to uh, you know stick things down if there's bits sticking around just stick them down with that hot glue and then once we've done that we're going to grab our big ass bag of beads that's the big ass bag of beads the babob i'm going to call it babob from now on because you know i think i need another catchphrase as if like button weren't enough so after we grab the bob the babob got it wrong already the babob you put the hot glue down and get multiple beads of multiple different colors. And the colors should be things like yellow, orange, pink, red, etc. So that they will blend in nicely and you won't have things that are contrasting like um, white or uh, green or blue or anything like that. So once you've uh, blobbed some hot glue down and stuck in the beads, you can do two on a thing if you want. Of course the beads are different sizes as well and that's why a babob comes in handy because generally there's a whole bunch of different sizes and colors in a babob. Right, so once you've stick, stuck down all those, there will probably still be paint on the thing that has not yet dried so you can smear over that paint over the um, balls the baubles the beads and then i'm using a mixture of black and brown ink which again i'm going into the dark spaces and recesses and things and then continuing with the, the remaining paint and just painting around the edges of the markers themselves so that's what they're looking like now uh, you know it's quite gnarly but it's a bit dry so this idea was stolen from black magic craft pillar pow as uh, our friend hankerin keeps talking about and you just apply that nail polish onto here now that nail polish cost me all of a dollar and it looks really cool and really funky and juicy so that's how i make corpse markers now if you like this video like button you can also check out my Facebook page, Google Plus account, Twitter account, and my email newsletter, which is available on my website, thedmg.info. There's also a store on there where you can support this channel financially, and you can also submit crafts and things that you've done and completed to be showcased at the end of these videos. We need more. That means you!
I have to bring home the bacon. Get your ass out of there, bacon. Hmm? Yes, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs>